be the most exciting lecture. And, and again, uh, just wanted to let you know both of these are the, these are the two books that are for the next three days. Some of you have bought them, but these will. Uh, uh, as I'm going through the slides here, er, er, every slide and every concept is on these two books. Okay, the next lecture is Moses Aristotle Linnaeus Classifications of Plants and Animals. Next slide, please. Okay, just kind of briefly, because uh, I like to talk about the history of these individuals. Everyone is uh, con uh, familiar here with Carl Linnaeus and the Linnaean classification system. Now, you might have not known about the Linnaean classification system, but you do know this. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Okay, that's all Linnaeus. And just a little bit about him. I mean, he was a, a brilliant man. He was also a creationist, which many people don't know. Um, uh, he was born in uh, Sweden. He eventually taught at Uppsala. And he published Systema Natura, which is the basis kind of the, 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 the academic basis for what we have in terms of the modern biological classification system. Mammalia, mammals, reptilia, reptiles, amphibia, uh, uh, um, amphibians. All of these are from Carl Linnaeus. Now, before him, there was, uh, next slide please, uh, there was Aristotle. And Aristotle, uh, in his Historia Animalium, uh, it was authored about 343 BC. And uh, basically what he did is he divided 500 animals into uh, two groups, those with blood, animals with blood, and those without blood. And uh, he had uh, different, and he not only divided them up, but he spoke about them, and then he had like little positive anecdotes. Like, uh, and some of them were just grossly mistaken. Like human males, uh, human men have more teeth than uh, females. Uh, uh, or a good-tempered ox is better than a ferocious wild boar. Kind of <laughs> common sense. What people don't know is that this entire thing was funded by Alexander the Great. Remember, he was uh, uh, Alexander's uh, 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 teacher. And Alexander uh, gave him 800 talents, which is like a million dollars today, to, to fund this project. Uh, it's one of the, the rare uh, books from Aristotle that is completely known about, completely translated. There's numerous copies, and, they, uh, and it exists today. I mean, you can read it online if you want to. But many people don't know, and Aristotle is known as the first kind of the, the, the original, kind of the, the, the first classification system. He's known as the first individual. But what many individuals do not know is that even before Aristotle, there was... God's classification system. Next slide. And basically here, we have earlier than Aristotle, the biblical classification system um, was uh, uh, authored by Moses in the 15th century BC, according to traditionalist biblical scholars, and even amongst the liberals, and we're going to talk about a fierce critique of uh, the, the documentary hypothesis, but according to them, it's all fabricated, but still, even according to them, it's 1,000 to 500 BC that this classification system was. So even according to the most liberal individuals, the ones that even don't believe in the Bible, still they say the Bible was formed and this classification was formed uh, before Aristotle, making it the oldest classification system. So what I want to talk to you about is sometimes I'll use the word taxonomies. And you're, everyone will look at me, what does that mean? It's just another clever way of saying classification system. So when I say taxonomies, everyone's thinking classification. Classification of plants and animals. Okay, what's interesting about this is that not only, first, God himself in the first person talks about the larger groups of created animals. And then in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14, uh, in Leviticus 11, it's, it's amazing because God himself, in the first person, he's not telling Moses, uh, he's dictating it to Moses, but he's literally talking in the first person. And what he does is he, he regards the, the, the major groups of animals, and then he decides, okay, these are the individual animals that belong to these major groups.